All right. Wait. Oh, that's me. Not late and immediately greeted. Hi, squirrels. I am, uh, I am suffering. I'm currently suffering. Hi, Spooky. I'll get some water in a second. I don't actually have any. I'll be right back. Let me get some water. All right, I'm here. We've got bad news. Hi, Jeffka. Uh, we got bad news. Doesn't look like I'm getting that PlayStation 5, the one that I was supposed to be getting. And unfortunately, that means I'm back trying to find one. I've been I've been trying desperately to get a PlayStation 5 and it's just it's just not working out man it's just it's not working you know is my microphone okay is this all right I don't know it seems okay oh you know 
you know. Jason told me all the bots are buying PS5s. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, it's not impossible for a normal person to get one, but you know. You know. I'm trying my best, and if anybody in chat is able to help, you know. By all means. High demand, low supply. Oh, that's not even the worst of it. You've got scams everywhere. Like, not just everywhere. It's like... Like, it, it's, it's rancid, man. Absolutely rancid. Evening school, what happened? Oh, you know, I was talking to... I was talking to somebody from Texas, and they said they were going to sell them, and then, you know, lots of miscommunication, or, you know, in air quotes, miscommunication. And it ended up not happening. They just would not, like... Things, like, they kept saying, oh, this came up, and then, oh, this came up, and then... And the next thing you know, it's like, alright, this person's full of shit. They're not actually selling a PlayStation 5. You know. Give me just a moment and we'll get started. Did you lose money? No, I haven't lost money. I'm on a stock for ordering you water because there's a cooldown on it. That's why. Give me just a moment, we'll get started, I promise. And hi, Sloth. I think uh, I was just talking to somebody and they they seem like they're they seem like they're a little bit more honest and they wrote their name on a piece of paper and okay we're gonna get started uh so they wrote their name on a piece of paper they said that they were um they said they were selling a PlayStation 5 they're willing to do PayPal etc cetera, etc cetera. so maybe I'll maybe I'll see if I can do that one not get scammed we'll find out we'll find out you know you know how it goes only so much you can do, man, you know? You can't- how do you protect yourself from, like, scams? Besides, you know, you- like, you can't, like, have no trust when buying a shipped item, but it's- it's like, you know, where do you put the trust? How do you know? What can you do? You all know what I mean?
I think everybody knows what I mean. This main menu is really nice. Yo, what up? Hey, man. All right. I think uh, I think there's I think we're almost done with this game. This game's kind of nice. It's got nice music. Oh Jesus! Flying big ticket item from Nando. Yeah, it's a minefield. You know, like people are all over Twitter and all over like, you know, fuck anything. You know, any yeah, ten thousand dollar rent. <laughs> You know, they're all over everything, just trying to scam you. It's ridiculous. You just have to have enough trust. I mean, yeah, but trust is also how you get scammed. You know, some guy goes, hey, I'll, I'll sell you this. You can trust me. And then you send him money and then they'd run off. And boy, howdy, I have, uh, you know, maybe it's all my time I've spent on the internet, but I, I don't, I've, I tiptoe, you know, if the multiplayer is going to hold up long term. No idea. With all the jank and stuff that's still in there, he's showing trust back to you. Who knows? We'll find out. I, I want to trust people, you know? Like, I, I like to believe the people all have good intentions, but that's just not the case. Wait, I already read this. It's not always the case. Not everybody always has good intentions. Not everybody's honest. And if not everybody's honest, what can you really do? Oh god, this game's been killing my throat. I, there's so much reading. <laughs> okay. We'll uh, we'll do our best to get through it. How are you, Minasia? Hey, Jill. Gil's back in the s Gil is in the back sorting ingredient. Oh my god. Who's the person? Which person? Oh no, I've been dealing with lots of people. There's lots of people on Twitter I've tried to talk to, and you can usually decipher whether or not they're trying to scam you or not in the first couple messages, but it's not, like, it's not concrete. You know? It, like, you, the one person I talked to, okay, so here's the story. Here's why I didn't get a PS5 yet. I was talking to somebody, and they said they had two. One of them was ordered by accident, and they were selling one of them. And I said, sure. And they and they revealed they live in Texas. And I said, hey, I've got a friend in Texas. They can come pick it up in real life. And they said, yeah, sure, we can do that. And then they said, well, actually, no, we can't because it's not here yet. Despite them sending me a picture of the PS5 in a box. You know, well, two PS5s in the box. And then I said, all right, well, when they show up, how about that? And they said, sure, we'll do that on Tuesday. And here we are Monday night, and it's, oh no, suddenly, uh, suddenly the, play, the the shipping is delayed. And all the while, they're still putting up more advertisements that they're selling PS5s. You know, you know, like, th this entire time I'm talking to them and they're agreeing to sell me the PS5, they're still telling me that, they're still, like, putting out more Twitter posts about selling PS5. And it just, it's just more and more, you know, like, I was willing to trust them. And, but they just sort of like kept dragging it on, and it just doesn't. They they're not being honest because th those pictures are not theirs. But that's how it goes. And then there's lots of people that want like they want money through Cash App and Venmo and Zelle and stuff like that. And here's a little fun fact for you: that money that you send via like Venmo is not refundable. That like you send money to people and it's just gone.
There's this dude named Dalen, and he resells PSN accounts. Well, I mean... It's not like there aren't honest people, but, you know, you've gotta, you've gotta know that somebody's honest. And there's really no guarantees on this kind of stuff. Mad? I'm not really mad. Because I haven't really lost anything other than time. But I'm still, you know, I, I want to play the new Demon Souls, man. It's great. That stuff's great. Okay, let me try to get through my dyslexia for 10 minutes and read a little bit. Hey, Jill. Gil's in the back sorting an ingredients shipment. I've got things to do and the dog's in charge. Okay, bye. Oh, fuck. His name is Hoodfave. Eh. What? The dog what? Okay, first order. Pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge and I want you to pet me. Alright. There's a lot of music here and there's a lot of it I haven't listened to. Oh jeez. Eh, yeah, I don't feel like it. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Do you have any higher education? I do. I have gone to school. I've gone to, uh, I've gone to college. Hey, Jay. Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. Won't. Will. You called? He said Will, not Gil. Ah. Who the hell is Will? Nobody. Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no Will. Need me to psych you up then? Shut up. Who, me or Will? Higher, higher education is university. Then what do you call college? You go back to doing whatever you're doing. Alright. And you, stand by. Only if you pet me. Go. What the fuck just happened? Oh fuck, it's Virgil. Why aren't we spirited today? Welcome to... Virgil? Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with a bombastic soliloquy. In Russia, it's special education. Eh. Well, then I'm not sure what I would call it. Forgive me, uh, forgive me, Jabka. But I, I, I have gone to, I have gone to further education, I guess I could call it. Well, putting up an act, putting up an act that can be tiring, you know? So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? I guess. Would you mind getting me a Bleeding Jane? Sure. Why is he being normal? All blended. College here is just smaller university. Yeah, exactly. Here you go. Bleeding Jane. This is just a thing. Tired of putting on an act. Care to explain? It's a long story, and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind, though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Safer? That's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yeah. You know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You try not to suspicion, but act in, the, in a bombastic manner that screams that you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Hmm? I mean, you may be right if I was talking about hiding myself. But I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention. But that everyone decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I become harder to read. Give me yet another layer of enigma. I... huh. Well, congrats, no offense, but I fell right into your plan. I just just mixed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure.
A Mars Blast or a Moon... Or a Bloom Light? I made an absurd joke in my head. What kind? By the way, how has everybody's day been? Forgive me if I, uh... Forgive me if I was not really focusing on that. I was talking a lot about that PS5 stuff. You know? Hmm. How dare you? Alright, so we've got... Okay. We've got... Okay, I think I'm gonna go with... I think I'm gonna go with the Mars Light. Or Mars Blast. I can't make a double. It's too big. All blended. Let's see it. Here you go. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Hell, what's toxic for us might not be for other creatures. You like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. It's not about the PS5. It's about the journey and the scammers you meet along the way. You're full of shit. That neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy or hates things with a passion. Do you like it? Lots. Not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the, the way mild or slight spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening up a curry stand. My day has been long and my good but long. My phone didn't reset to local time when I got home yesterday, so I woke up an hour early and got ready for work by accident. Eh, that's not the worst thing ever. But I know what you mean. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know if you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. Dude, I love curry. Hey, bartender. Call me Jill. I wanted to apologize. Hmm? You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior and thank you at that. Don't worry. I actually feel like I was too rude to you last time you came. Granted, you came at a really bad time, but... I should be the one apologizing. You're a client, after all. Well, I don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else had violently lashed out at me yet. Yeah, I did want to jaw you. I accidentally left my drink in the freezer too long, and now I have to wait to drink it. I like putting my drink in the freezer. <laughs> I'm kinda gone crazy. Yeah. You're making, you're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your real name? It might be, it might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities and sword pass. Gil, Jamie, you... Um, did you say something? Just rambling. Pay me no mind. How did I think about it? How did you find this bar? I popped so many drinks in the freezer because I forgot about them. I don't forget about them. Actually, no, I forgot one time. It didn't pop, though. How did I think about it? How did you find this bar? I was avoiding some chaps that came to this alley. Huh. Again? Again? In my time here, I've heard avoided people. I ended up here enough times to make me believe. At the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. You make it sound like a you make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't mean just people escaping the law though. We've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. I don't put drinks to refrigerator. Hey, what's up? I'm writing a literary analysis for Of Mice and Men. I read that book. And how are you, Albus? Maybe because a salesman is more of an active predator? A troublesome part of the city is... The tr a troublesome part of the city is right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm sort of, of a criminal, though? Like I said, you're not helping. I hate of my son, man. Why? It's it's a good book. What's the hate about it? For all I know, you might be a buffoon. 
you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter? On it. Something bitter. Hmm. Yeah, I'll give him one of these. Big drink. Big pile driver. Here you go. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, no, I don't. I don't like coffee either. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That cat boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing her up with another cat boomer? No, that's not it. I used to like it, but they kept beating me over the head with it. Yes, yeah, school, uh, Good school. To cross swords with you. You're thief. You are a thief. You stole my heart. How? Is it because I can say a few things in Russian that was with a good accent, such as <clears throat> "Привет, брат." Ah, привет. That's about all I got. <laughs> I can't say much else. I like I I got a I've got a Russian viewer and he says I do a really good job with that, but that's about all I can do. Dude, that's just stalker. Yeah, exactly. I I just I just copy the stalker voice line. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm so smart. I can speak Russian, dude. I played stalker. <laughs> I love your streams. I mean, oh, well, that means a lot. No, that's not it. It's like a, it's like the bandage girl last time. Even with the bandages, there's still just something really familiar about her. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come, what, answers usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Well, now I'd like Virgil. Guys look cheeky breaky haha. -ha. <laughs> Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh hello, Mr. Detective. Fucking Costanza. Why? Why is he George Costanza? Not just receding, look at him. It's ridic- like this- alright, dude, this costume is ridiculous. Why is he just- why is he just George Costanza? It's not- it's not fair, it's not right. Here we are, another mute person wandering into the bar. And I can get you? Gut punch. Okay. Does he want- I'll put a little alcohol in it. He looks like a cock. <laughs> Even as a check. We are all George Costanza at heart. Shut up! <laughs> Here you go. Oh, you got it right. So what's up now? A bit of the holiday blues, you could say. So you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You look more like a fe festivus kind of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, Festivus is a celebration going against the cap capitalist madness of me Mega Christmas. And you know, cheapskate. If you have something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although now that I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. It's just a season. A season of consumerist craze. Mega Christmas is just a mockery of what real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. How's your Costanza impression? Don't even remember what he sounds like. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then came the turbo male guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. Turbo male? That can't be his ring name. It is. Really? Such a tacky name was accepted? 
His partner was the Buster Master, and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed like Santa every year. I also knew that guy became insanely popular and the stunt got out of control. And of course, that's the part, the part everyone sings about. Santa became Nega Santa thanks to the Redmond family. Nega Santa sees the error of his ways, becomes the mighty Mega Santa, renaming the holiday Mega Christmas. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. That sounds like something so stupid that would actually happen. So you're telling me that that the guy somehow managed to rename the holiday? Went by the ring name Turbo Mail? Yep. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. And you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? No, I don't. You know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind that's so lame and bland that they only can talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivus. Like those jerks who only eat nuke and think they're better than everyone else. Oh, but you said Home Alone, deadass. Are you trying to compare him to Joe Pesci? I see. Can I get you anything else? Give me a fringe weaver. Sure. Do I make it a double? I'm making it a double. You come here for the big drinks. Wait, did I do that? Oh, there we go. That's all alcohol, by the way. Alright. Fringe Weaver. I see boots. I, I'm giving him the turbo alcohol. Here you go. Right, thanks. So, any issues with the city lately? What's the word on the street? Shouldn't I be asking you that? Hi, Kevin. Kevin, it's good to see you. Look, it's George Costanza. Nothing really new. The lynchings of White Knight stop, so there's that. Really? Something about the armor. Haven't gotten much on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack at the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Have any other details about the attack emerged yet? All records of what happened there have been long deleted. Security cam, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened down there, it's more of a mystery now. I wonder if Psy plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Psy went in there in the first place? Maybe the wiping everything actually protects her somehow. Hey bartender, you okay? Sorry, I got distracted. Not much to say, really. There's an odd silly rumor here and there. Like the vending machine tasers malfunctioning and applying more strength. Is that... Or that the writer of The Last Rain in the World is actually a l living here as a brain in a jar? But those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might hold at that one last piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. Brain in a jar? Oh, there was a walking brain in a jar that came in here. Really nice. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay, then. Gil, you there? Yeah, taking a break? Let me know if someone comes in. Kevin, I've been trying to get a PS5. It's it's a nightmare. I'm hoping I'm hoping the person I'm talking to now isn't isn't gonna scam me. They seem like they're a little bit more honest and they have a little bit more to show for themselves. Like, they put their name on a piece of paper on the box, so that already confirms that that's their PS5. It actually is in front of them. I'm not feeling the stream, but it was nice to come by and say hi. Have a good one. Thank you very much for coming by, Seaboots. Sorry you're not feeling the stream. I'm doing my best, you know? I'm trying to get one really badly, but I don't want to get fucking robbed. <laughs> Why are they selling it then? Oh, uh, you know. Jill. Ah, Miss Kim. The stream. This isn't a stream, it's the mega stream. No, mega stream is when the streamer chan comes in. Just call me Kim. It sounds weird to be called Miss. You seem to be in a good mood. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? 
I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Okay. Big beer coming up. Let me try this. Oh, I guess it does work. Here you go. Thanks. Is it local then? Just concerned you'd be shipped an empty box. Well, yeah, that's always the worry. You gotta trust people a little bit, Kevin. Otherwise, you'll never get it. You'll never receive anything over the mail. But you also, you know, you're right. What if I just get an empty box? So how have you been doing? Pretty good, actually. My hair stopped falling out. My appetite is coming back. I hadn't realized just how much of the newspaper was weighing on me until I quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I actually felt like I achieved a victory. Like I got a hold of my own life. So nice to hear. Don't ship an empty box. You put rocks in it to make it way more than expected. I mean, yeah, that, that works too. So nice to hear. Oh yeah, I'll start bartender training in January too. Really? Yeah, I did some research on it and it sounded cool. BTC gives you many benefits, so it sounds like a good thing to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. It'll give me time to think about the next course of action. Bit of advice. Don't go for the BTC housing plan unless you absolutely have to. You have to sign a contract for at least five years of service with a cut in pay and tips. I was going to go for that, but I backed down a bit at the last minute. How do you back down a bit? Well, I took the chance when BTC found me an apartment. And instead of signing a BTC contract, I just asked for a regular one. I still have no idea how I got away with that. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England, they are. They have their own real, real estate companies. Apartment complexes where they... The par apartment complexes where they have the means to give discounted rooms to employees. But in this city, Realty Nua holds the unspoken real estate monopoly. The BTC can't easily offer such promises. Oh. Realty Nua is a bit weird as far as companies go. Their name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. But the truth is that Real Realty Nua has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. Yeah, that's, that's kind of... Yeah. There's a lot of companies like that, actually. Really? I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build upon plots of land that every everyone gave up on. It became a big name as far as real estate goes. But in reality, the company itself actually has done less than you'd think over the years. Most of the time, they're cashing in on the established properties and letting others do the work for them. I believe in the last 10 years or so, they've only started around 3 or 4 new projects. And they're all expansions on already established ones. You seem to know a lot about it. Nah, I've just read a lot about it over time. Specifically after hearing my landlord ramble about them. I think it's all par for the course, for real estate companies, really. But it's true that when you hear a name so much, you expect something. I don't know, different. But enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Can I get you anything else? Let's try a sugar rush. Okay. Wait. Put in a little bit of that, mix it up. Bam. Here you go. Actually, Jill, I came here to say today to thank you. Me? Yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked, I was tired, I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. Not to mention you helped me cool down and, you even, and your boss saved me. I don't know. I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Much appreciated. Thanks. But anyway, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit off. I'm better now. Thanks a lot. Glad to hear. It's weird to see you like that. It always felt like you were putting on a cool bartender act. It did? You don't? I don't. Are you sure? What you saw as a cool bartender is actually what everyone else has described as being cold. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same thing, but... I don't try to put up an act. Sorry to disillusion you. I'm too much of a mess to do such a thing. Huh. Disappointed? Surprised, actually. What led me to believe that you were putting on an act? And more importantly, how can I get used to it? How can I make use of it when I get to assigned to a bar? I must investigate further. Good luck with that. Let's try something bubbly now. Alright. 
Bubbly is a flavor? Alright. Okay. There you go. I like this game. I, I think it's nice. It's cozy. Thanks. Hey, Jill, I'm gonna need some ice. Hello. Boss? Oh, I know you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, nice to see you're fine. I'm more than fine. I'm alive and I'm here. This game looks very interesting. It's, uh... It's a, it's a weird one. I've not played a game like this before. But it's... I... Yeah, I like it. It's gone on for a bit long, though. I'm surprised at how long the game actually is. By the way, thank you for that follow. I do see it. There should be a bot in chat that, that tells you in, like, the next ten minutes, because it's too fucking slow. Your cocktail. What is that? What is that? What did you just put in my chat? Is that a Minecraft bucket? How dare you? <laughs> I avoided my biggest mistake in my life, thanks to your timely intervention. I don't know what overcame me, I just felt like, like everything was shouting. I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like... Thank you. I don't even mention it. I just did what I felt was right. Jill, ice please. Are you alright? Did you seek help? I know a couple people that could help you. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple times, but he says I'm okay. I, something, I just, something overcame me, you intervened, and I don't know what to say. You already said thank you. Seeing that you're fine is more than enough for me. That's a bucket with urine. How dare you? Don't post that here. Oh. Ooh, I hate that. It's just... That, that's... that. That's cursed. Don't fucking put that shit here. Who... Alright, here's the real question. What kind of... Sh what kind of weirdo makes a piss bucket emote and puts it on their Twitch channel? Insanity. I, sh I should have come to thank you earlier. I owed you at that at least. Don't worry, just go out and be happy. It's a local meme. Is it? I don't know what life is like in Russia. Give a second chance. Use it as best you can. I will. I'll be leaving. Happy New Year. Thanks again. Please come again. A couple weeks ago, I read news about a woman saving a suicidal girl, catching her midair. Would you know something about that, boss? Maybe, maybe not. Whoever it was probably just did it because it was the right thing to do. Feeling lonely? Voice. Hi. Long time no see. Who are you? Who are you? Really long time no see. Seriously, it's been like it's been over a year since I last saw you. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So I just waited in the background until the tension wore off a bit. First to Joe, I'm talking to you here. I ignore her, she'll leave. I'm not an unfathomable sense of dread. You can't just ignore me, you know. Julianne Stingray, I'm talking to you. Don't fall for the taunts. How did she know my full name, though? I thought your full name was Julianne T Natalie Stingray, or did you legally remove Natalie? Are you reading my thoughts? Yeah, they're written in the middle of the screen. Hard not to notice them, actually. That's such a self-centered way to see the world. You assume that you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. This world is amazing because of the things you just can't explain. And just because you only experience something doesn't mean that it's a lie or that you're crazy. I mean, just look at ASMR. <laughs> Julianne shortens to Jill. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this scenario. You acknowledged me. That's good. I want... I'm not serving you anything. Why? Last time you came, I had, to, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. The drinks were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but that set any and all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. 
I was gonna buy some curry with that money, and I had to put up with, for those drinks. Dog duty done. I know we have slow days, but for God's sake. You okay? You look angry. I'm fine. Good job out there. I'm back. Hey boss, what happened? Meeting cut short. I drank the last... I drank the has... 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 the bottles. You okay? You look distraught. I'm fine. But they really can't see you? I mean, you're right in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt. Huh. Why? To annoy people, of course. Is that a new trend? What does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right, and everyone thinks they should call you out. But they can't bring themselves to do it, because it's not that wrong. Here's your sub icon. Uh, icons and on Twitch sort of come and go, but maybe a sub ran out. Did it run out? What monster wears jeans under a skirt? It's not the weirdest thing ever. I mean, I'd probably like a girl that wore jeans under a skirt, but who knows? It's uncannily right. Not all wrong. They can't stop staring. Mine ran out last night. Oh yeah, it did. Not like anyone other than me could see it, though. They could see it if they wanted to. Jill, you're making an awful lot of faces there. You okay? Yeah, just remembering stuff. I miss not being crazy. Oh, so I'm leaving early. Who stays where? You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voice. Alright, enough enough with this bit. Get this out of here. I thought I saw one of the dogs near the counter. Sorry. Oh, okay. Can I leave for a bit earlier today? Sure, thanks for taking care of the fort. What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. It's not what I... whatever. Hey, money! <laughs> That was odd. That whole that whole scene was odd. Yeah, hold on, I gotcha. Just watched I Night of the ID Snatchers. Buying a poster of it will stop her from getting too distracted. God, Jill, fuck. Looking at the poster, Jill managed to get Gabby off her mind, even for just a little bit. Is that Gabby? Let's take a look. Biker gang arrested after vandalism. One of the biker gangs uh, got arrested. The leader, known in the streets as Christine Love, declared that the press was on that they were unjustly arrested. They're afraid of us. They can't take us down. We're really tough. But we had to surrender. There's no... They're waiting for a trial. Alright. Parliament discusses anime influence. I'm not reading that. Taylor the Brian... Ta no, Taylor the Brain tired after a name... Tired of name change requests. A couple weeks ago, we wrote about Taylor, one of the brains from the Sola Anima Project. One of the highlights from the interview, unfortunately, was stripped... From the finished version about was a stray comment about how many people asked taylor to change their name to to brian on a regular basis i know there are people trying to be funny but i won't change my name for a punchline taylor told ae team i like the name taylor and there's nothing wrong with wrong with brain Wait, is it brian i just won't be part of their joke my life is worth more than that Taylor is currently looking at the chances to become a senator for the electoral, up, for the upcoming electoral season. Oh no. Oh no, we're in the future and they still got the electoral college. Jesus. Alright, we're going to work. Good evening. Hi. Let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Isn't that a bit soon? Why, did someone famous get killed on New Year's at a news party? No, I mean, never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. Great. And Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey. No, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client of his to the station. He should be back any second now. 
back. See? So you're coming to the New Year's party too? It's not like I have anything else to do. <laughs> I told you. We're depressing people. Okay, that kid from the other day, Gabby, I, th I think you called her. She asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. A note? Gabby? Let's see. First of all, I want to apologize for my baby before. I was still hurt by my sister's death, and it wasn't fair to take all the stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. And so it feels weird to ask this of you, how, how I treated you. But I wanted to I want. I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up and chat for a while. To do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about, and the fear that drove you to a fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar and... On the 31st. I won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I'll understand. But please, I really want to talk to you. Gabby. I like Gabby. Oh, that girl has a big vocabulary. She was always a smart one. 31st is written in different handwriting. Oh yeah, she asked me when, when you would be here and you were relatively free, so I told her about the party. I assume you'd say yes to the party, which might have been the best idea, now that I think about it. Boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? Because I really don't want to face Gabby again. Now it's coming back to me, what drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years. Fear and shame. Shame because I know I've made a hideously stupid mistake and it's painful to face your mistakes. And fear of what they might say. L Lenore, we never broke up formally, so I was always afraid if we were to meet again. She'd break up with me. And I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Lenore would be in the right to break up with me, and Gabby's in the right to hate me. But I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll never tell me that. Jill, you idiot! You're thinking backwards. Didn't the letter say she wanted you to understand you? If you bail out, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Didn't you just say to Armitage that you hated a feeling like that? Armitage? Titty Hacker. Alma. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister, but now you have a chance to make some amends. Yeah, run from fears. <laughs> no, don't. Don't run from fears. I don't run from anything. Unless, unless I'm playing a video game and it tells me I have to run because there's no other options. But that game isn't very good. I, I like to I like to beat up problems and fight them with my with my face, despite being the size of like your ankle. <laughs> D despite despite being my eye level being at your knee, I still I st I'll still try and fight you. Not only that, you have us watching your back. So I want you to think about this. One day, one day of fear for a lifetime filled with regret. Which do you pick? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I hated the feeling like that, so I won't run away this time. Good, because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. Hey boss, thanks. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Anyways, let's start the day. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Is though it's the second note that st has stirred such feelings in me. Second one, two weeks ago I got another note in the mail. This one is from Leonore. Was that the envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yeah. You haven't opened it. Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one fear. I might as well face another. Maybe. Don't push it, Chief. I'm not. I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for our party. Call me if you need anything. Everyone's the same height when they're laying on the ground. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like. I like it. I like what you're thinking. Let's have. Let's think more of that. Please and thanks. Keep it up, Jill. Kevin, how was your day? Happy holidays! Hi, Stella. Someone's happy. We held a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the faces of those kids receiving gifts. 
Nabbing that Santa suit at the last minute the other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa, of Santa suits, but luck was on my side. Sorry for that outburst. Why, you looked happy and I felt happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Anyway, can you get me a cobalt velvet please? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Are you meeting with Saya today too? She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted a drink here, and since I was coming here too... Sadly, I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. How's she been? She's better. Her wounds have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her bandages so often. What about her eye? Her eye? Oh, hers. Sorry. It'll take longer to heal... But as long as it's clean, there should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't show up, but she's had depressive bouts from time to time. And who can blame her? Life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She was used as a disposable pawn in a whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will make her go back to her old ways. Old ways? There was a rough spot when Sai was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close, and then her biological father, who was an asshole, showed up. Teachers at school didn't help. Sai is not a slow learner, but her way of learning stuff is different. She needs equivalents equivalencies to things she knows. You need to get a bit in her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't have that kind of patience. Making some dinner? What are you making? I might be a good bartender. But I don't know. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't- oh yeah. They basically branded her as a failure. She even dropped out. I would have suggested a special course somewhere else, but that would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled as special or different. She was totally different during that period. Foul mouth, short fused, always frowning. The total opposite of how she is nowadays. Time to time I see that old look cross across, across her face and it scares me. You're comparing her to her teen self though. People mature. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time, but I bet Sai knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Give me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. Uh, what's sweet and cold? That one. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I can make it a double. Look at that. I'm always making doubles. Here you go. Thanks. This is the kind of stuff Sai asked for, you know? Now that you mention it. You know, back when Sai reappeared, it seems like she came here first. Oh yeah, she told me that. I bet she found a familiar face after all that chaos. Did she tell you we had a talk at the back of the bar? We did? Well, it's nothing that important, but... She was devastated, you know? She was afraid, tired. It hit me quite hard, not only after seeing her covered in bandages, but also seeing her so cheerful for... But, af but also after seeing her so cheerful from before. I guess I should be thanking you then. You what? When I met with her, she told me you calmed her down quite a bit. I did? Guessing with all that was going on, the desire to not worry me weighed on her. It had happened before. So it's good that there was someone else for her to share her stress with. Thanks. Sure. I don't think I did anything noteworthy, but sure. Wondering, can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Hmm? I mean, the streets are not exactly safe. And a cat boomer is, is sure to become a target. Well, I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides that, this part of the city is comfier. Come again? Sure, Uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of some people. You can actually, you can feel the, the people that are, you, you feel there are people living. I especially like going to a busy food stand. I feel the warmth there that Uptown doesn't have. Yo, is the stream being stuck on 1080p normal? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. 
Fuck. Oh, god damn it. Why did nobody tell me? Son of a bitch. Alright. Alright, give me a sec. I gotta restart the stream. Aw, oh, what a fucking... Aw, oh, Twitch. Huh? Yeah, Twitch doesn't give me quality options sometimes. If you if you look at the quality uh, the quality setting, you'll see only one option. Uh, probably should have probably should have known that. I, I didn't check it today. It just it just didn't occur to me. Uh, so I have to restart the stream until it shows up. Uh, what a fucking disaster.